I'm Plastic Martyr. And I'm Kira. Welcome, Welcome to, to Romantic, Romantic Advice. Advice. I'm here to help you with your relationship. Girl, what makes you so qualified to give romantic advice? Because I've done all the don'ts, so I'm here to tell you all the do's. First question. How to reject a guy who already knows you're a lesbian but keeps asking you out. Damn. You need to just tell him, honey, I like girls. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not into what you got going on. So exactly. that's pretty much it. You gotta be blunt, you gotta be straightforward. And if he doesn't listen, call the cops. They've got a restraining order on that. My boyfriend is blocked by all his exes. Is this normal or should I run? Girl, you best be running Run. immediately. Run for the hills, babe. If he already has several girls being like, nope. That's like a majority of those right yeah. there to me. Like that's telling. Trust someone's paths and believe it. <laughs> My boyfriend constantly talks about his exes and how crazy they were. Is this a red flag? I don't think this is a red flag. I talk about my exes too a lot. They're part of your life. You're allowed to talk about your exes. And your new partner can understand you more if they kind of know your history and know what you vibe with and you don't. Do you still talk about your exes? I actually definitely do. I get in a little bit of trouble with it with my current boyfriend, so. Same. I'm, I'm definitely in that boat, so that's why I'm like, I don't think it's a red flag. I do think you can go a little too deep and talk about it a little too much yeah. sometimes and never relate them to your ex. That's never. That's a big thing I learned. I'm over dating apps and so discouraged by them. How do I meet someone great IRL? Good luck, sweetie. <laughs> and I always say like, look in your friend group, friends of friends. There's a cutie somewhere in there. I think in person is the way to go. It's just a little bit tricky. So ask a friend to ask another friend and kind of move around in that area. How do I know when the relationship is over? Well, when you literally can't stand the sight of that person, I think that's a telling sign. I would say when they stop listening. When you have someone stop listening to you and they're like not meeting you halfway, like I'm very opinionated, but I can also listen because Value you have opinion. obviously lost it. Yeah, yes. 100%. Can I date someone 15 years older than me or is this too much of an age gap? <sighs> For me, it's like, I thought I was a little hot shot and when I was like 18, I started dating like a 28 year old. And in my mind, I was like, oh, it's because I'm mature. And they see that, hell no. It was straight up like manipulation and very much so not good for me. But do I think you get to a certain age at like 45, 55? Like 45 with a 60 year old or something like that. I think at that point, it kind of levels out at a certain age. No, you don't think so? I think age really is just a number and that it depends on who the person is. I try not to judge people based off their age because there are people who are I've dated that were younger than me that were actually very wonderful relationships and there's people that I've dated that were older than me that were just so toxic. So it really just does depend on, on the, the people. Person. Yeah, yeah, the people. Well, that was romantic advice. Oh. See you next time. Bye guys.